Alright, so here's a little game I like to call Continuous versus Discrete Data. It's a game you can play, you know, if on Friday nights if you don't really feel like going out to the high school football game or hanging out with your friends, you just want to check out different data types. Uh, here's here's how you play it. Um, continuous data is data whose units are meaningful at an infinite number of points within a range. So, um, or as I say, the continuous data flows like a river. So if you were to visualize it, it would be like this. Uh, between any two points here, there's an infinite number of points um, on, on the graph here. So we would call that, it, it's infinitely divisible. So if this is, um, I don't know, point, what is that, 5, and this is negative 5, and this is negative 4, I mean, you could have negative 4.37 on this graph, or negative 4.999982. All right, so discrete data, on the other hand, is data whose units are only meaningful at certain points. And discrete means kind of separated or not attached to the others. So I, I describe it as, as discrete data is separated by chasms. And it's kind of melodramatic, but it helps me remember. So if you were to visualize it, it would look like this. You know, the points aren't attached to each to each other. There's only certain values that make sense. So, you know, positive two, um, positive three, but not two point blah 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 in between. You know, it's got to be two or it's got to be three. Okay, and um, kind of just a simple test for determining whether a data type is continuous or discrete is just to ask yourself self does it make sense to have in between values and if it does make sense to have in between values then you're talking about continuous data and if it doesn't make sense to have in between values if it's just you know one or the other then it's probably discrete data so i'm going to pull in some real life examples here and we'll just decide what category each one will fall into so let me grab these guys and pull them in Okay, so let's look at this first one. If I, so say like I'm measuring the number of dandelions in a meadow. Is that continuous or discrete? Well, uh, how? Would, I mean, what, what are some possible answers? There could be three, there could be a thousand, there could be ten million, there could be seven. But you're not going to see, you know, 2.586 dandelions. You're not going to see two and one sixteenth dandelions. You're going to see a whole number of dandelions. So does it make sense to have in between values if you're talking about the number of dandelions? No, you're going to, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have one dandelion, two dandelions, a thousand dandelions, zero dandelions, but you're not going to have parts of dandelions. Okay, so that would be discrete. There's only certain values that would make sense. So let's just I'll put I'll put these guys over on the right with discrete. Okay, how about how many times I went hiking in the redwood forest? Okay, so similarly, you're counting something. So um, I could go one time, I could go two times. Does it make sense to have in between values? Could I go hiking 1.787 times? Um, you, you could argue, I guess, that I could go one and a half times. Like I started to go, but I didn't end up going. But it, it wouldn't make sense to say I went 1.6823789 times. Okay, there's only certain values that will make any sense if you're measuring how many times I went hiking in the redwood forest. So that would be a, an example of discrete data. But what about the length of uh, pine trees? Lengths of pine trees. Of a pine tree's branches. I forget what I was even trying to type in. Of a pine tree's branches. So you're, you find a pine tree, you start measuring the lengths of the branches. So say you know one of the branches could be 10 feet and one of the branches could be 9 feet. Would in-between values make sense? Yeah, it depends on what you're using to measure the length. Um, you know, you could have nine and a half feet. You could have nine and a quarter feet. You could have 9.1111111123 feet. You know, maybe using a a laser to measure it very, very precisely. You could have any number of decimal points. So there's an infinite number of values, you know, within a reasonable range that would make sense for the length of pine trees. I mean, it wouldn't be reasonable to say that uh, a branch could be a million feet long. 
So it's not like any value would work. But within the reasonable range, you know, between 1 and, I don't know, 20 feet, um, there could be an infinite number of values in between the whole numbers. So that would be an example of continuous data. What about the weights and ages of 20 sun bears? I like sun bears. Um, little, little yellow um, symbol they have on their chest. It's kind of interesting. So, what if I if I grab 20 of them and started measuring their their weights and their ages? Well, um, you know, weight. What what are possible values for weights? I could have it could be you know 100 pounds. It could be 101 pounds. Um, but it could also be 100 point six seven pounds or one hundred point you know seven eight nine one pounds depends on the precision of my of my measurement and the same thing with ages um, if I were to force my data to stick to whole numbers I could you know the bear is either ten years old or it's eleven years old I could I could make the ages an example of discrete data but I could uh, but I could decide to measure the ages as you know uh, how many years and how many months, or how many years, months, and days, or how many years, months, days, hours, how many years, months, days, hours, and seconds. You know, I could get any number of precision um, for the ages. So all those in-between values would would make sense for an age. So that the, both the weights and the ages we would consider continuous. And what about heights of chickens? I don't know just got to find out how, how tall the chickens are outside. You start measuring them. Well, as we saw, you know, measurements tend to be um, continuous, meaning that the values, the in-between values make sense. You know, the length of a pine tree doesn't have to be either 9 feet or 10 feet. You know, it could be anything in between 9 and 10 feet. Seems like the same thing with the heights of chickens. But if you round it to the nearest centimeter, then there's certain values that it can take. So it could be 10 centimeters high, or it could be uh, 11 centimeters, or 30 centimeters, or 100 centimeters. If that would be a very large chicken. Um, but you couldn't have 10.1 centimeters because you're rounding it to the nearest centimeter. So there's only certain values that will make sense for the heights of chickens outside. So if you're going to arbitrarily restrict it to um, you know, the nearest centimeter, or you're going to round the data in some way. That would be an example of discrete data. You're kind of forcing yourself to use only certain values.